In this tutorial, you'll learn about more advanced cloning in PaintShop Pro. We'll go through how to vary the hardness, rotation, and opacity settings when cloning a pattern or texture, and how to use the new Smart Clone feature available in PaintShop Pro 20. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. I have PaintShop Pro opened up with this image of a woman in front of a wooden wall. There are a few things about this image that I want to fix up. I think these grey objects at the bottom of the wall are really big eyesores and take away from the subject. There are also some patches on the wall like these green and blue ones that stick out. I'm going to do some advanced cloning with the Clone Brush tool to seamlessly remove these grey objects and also cover up the coloured patches on the wall. Let's start with the grey objects. I'm going to zoom up on one of them so I can be more precise with my cloning. Now let's select the Clone Brush tool on the left. At the top we can adjust our tool options. We can change the shape of the brush and the size among many other options. I'm going to click on the Presets option and choose Large Blend to start with. So what we're going to do is grab a clone source from a section of the wood that matches best with the wood at the bottom where these objects are. To select a clone source, I'm going to right click on this section right here as it has the same faded wood tones that there are at the bottom of the image. Now we'll start clicking with our mouse to clone over top of the object. Don't worry if you cover up the cracks of the wood because we're going to fix this later on. Now repeat this process with the other side of the object, again selecting a clone source that matches the wood area around it best. Throughout this process you should keep changing the clone source to avoid creating an obvious cloning pattern. We'll follow these steps to cover up the object on the other side of the woman as well. You can also adjust the hardness level and what this does is it determines the sharpness of the brush edge. So the more we reduce it, it will produce a softer fading edge that allows us to blend the textures together and again avoiding creating an obvious pattern. Ok, so now both objects have been covered up, but we still need to clone these button embellishments. I'll adjust my brush tool so it's just slightly bigger than the button itself. Then I'll right click on the button that I want to clone, and then clone it onto where I think it would fit onto the wall. I'll clone the button on this side as well. You can see a bit of a shadow or dark tones under each of these button embellishments. So when I clone them, I'll click underneath the buttons as well, just slightly, to clone the darkness underneath. And I'll repeat this for both sides of the image. Now I've just cloned this button right here, but you can see it doesn't look as natural because the wood tone isn't as dark here. So I'll undo this. Then place only the button this time. And now I'll reduce the opacity level of my brush, so I can clone the surrounding area in a lighter tone. After we've finished cloning all the buttons, we need to clone these cracks between the wooden panels. For this I want to use the Smart Clone tool available in PaintShop Pro 20. We'll click on the Smart Clone tool from the toolbar on the left. And we can choose from three selection types. I'll choose the Rectangle option. Now I'm going to select a rectangle shape over the cracks between the wood panels. And when we let go of the mouse, you'll see it creates a stamp of the selection we've just made. Now I'll line this up to cover the crack that we're missing. You'll see that when I click the mouse to stamp the clone here, the Smart Clone technology will automatically blend the selected image against the background where it's been stamped. Let's repeat this on the other side of the woman. So now let's go back up to the green and blue patches on the wall that we want to cover up. And this time I'll select Freehand from the Smart Clone selection types. I'll draw a small selection around an area of wood that I want to clone on top of the blue patch, and with just a few clicks the patch is gone. I can do this again with the green patch on the other side. And now, if we compare both images, you'll see how removing the unwanted objects from the original photo really makes our subject pop in the edited photo, and it gives us a cleaner overall background. 
If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for PaintShop Pro.